And now a warning from the Department of Homeland Security. As the Biden administration moves forward with its agenda, there are heightened concerns about the potential for domestic terrorism. Tonight, we're learning more about the bulletin warning and what that means to each of us. Yeah, we spoke to someone with top security experience about what to do. It seems like a long time since we've had terrorism warnings in the U.S., but this scene three weeks ago played a part in an alert issued by the Department of Homeland Security. It is absolutely terrifying. It's downright un-American, and we need to come together and uh, push back and say this is not the American way. You can have all the disagreements you want. I love a good argument, uh, but violence and intimidation has no place in this society. Nancy Soderberg is a former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations, a key person in the Clinton administration, and now teaches at UNF. Homeland Security officials pointed to a, quote, heightened threat environment across the United States that it believes will persist in the weeks since President Biden took office. The department says it consulted with law enforcement and intelligence agencies before issuing the alert about the potential for homegrown violent extremism. I think right now it's just a weird time and a new administration is taking office in, in Washington. There's still those who question the election a couple of months ago, and it's it's really time to uh, come together, support a new president, and um, stop threatening each other. I asked the ambassador about how each of us should behave when there's a warning like this and what to watch for. We need to take it very seriously. If you see something, say something. I think the average person is not at risk, but our leaders certainly are. And we just need to lower the temperature and take a breath and say, we are not at war among ourselves. Ambassador Soderbergh served as the third ranking official in the National Security Council at the White House in the 90s. She says this warning puts the American public on notice, but most of all, it's a warning against those potential terrorists. Now, the feds are rushing to find a person who put bombs outside RNC and DNC headquarters January 6th. They're worried that that person would strike again. The pipe bombs were safely detonated by a robot at each scene, and the remains are being examined in the FBI's lab in Quantico, Virginia. The identity of the person suspected of planting them is still a mystery, but they do have a photo. You're looking at it there. They have zoomed in on the backpack and the shoes, hoping someone will recognize them. There's a $75,000 reward for information that leads the FBI to an arrest and a conviction.